How's it going guys? My name is Brayden and I'm a musician living out in Los Angeles, California. And just like practically every musician in the world right now, I am feeling a bit limited as to what I can be doing to maintain a creative drive while also actively promoting my music in ways that maybe isn't so straightforward as just gigging out all the time. So today I wanna to talk to you about three things that I've learned during the COVID-19 pandemic that are actually lessons that I think I will carry with me as a musician into the post-pandemic world. Look at my kitty trying to escape. He's trying to escape and he's really mad at me. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my weekly accountability buddy meeting. So pretty early on into the quarantine period, my musician friend and I recognized the need for kind of like a weekly accountability meeting that we could have just to kind of check in with one another and see what we're up to creatively. Now, sometimes we would just get together and just talk about what happened that week and how we were feeling, but other times it would get as involved as actually working together on songs and even like mixing and producing music together remotely. I'll talk more about remote collaboration in item number two. Just having that weekly meeting actually really helped me to keep my head in the game, so to speak, or rather keep my head on the things that I really cared about, which were getting better at writing songs, uh, enhancing my presence on social media, finding other unique ways to create content for whatever audience that I might have at the moment. These were all things that were regularly on my mind just because I had someone else I was talking to on a regular basis who also cared about these same things. I'm hoping to continue these meetings even after the pandemic has subsided. And one of the cool things that has come out of this is the fact that I don't even have to meet with this person in person, even though I would probably prefer to, but if we can't make that work one week, we could always just meet over Zoom again like we did during COVID-19. Okay, so somewhat related is item two, which is remote collaboration. That's something that I think very little people had even thought to look into, myself included, until now. So most people are using Zoom as their web conferencing software of choice. And one thing that I set out to do early on was really figure out how to get good audio and visual quality into Zoom. But also I wanted to know how could maybe these same tools be used to increase the viability of remote collaboration over the software. So one super useful tool, if you're a musician and you have not yet downloaded the program Loopback, uh, I would recommend doing that right now. What Loopback allows you to do is take any audio really that's happening in your computer and route it to whatever place you wanna route it to. So if you're using a digital audio workstation like Pro Tools or Logic or whatever, you can easily route that audio into your Zoom call. Zoom also has some features that are somewhat hidden that allow you to get higher fidelity out of the signal that you're sending to somebody and vice versa. And not only that, you can actually enable a stereo signal so that what you're sending to someone is no longer just a mono signal. You can send them information for your left and right ear. So using loopback in combination with those enhanced features on Zoom can actually make for a really good experience when collaborating with someone over the internet. Now, mind you, you still won't be able to actively play and record takes simultaneously with one another, but you will be able to quickly send audio back and forth and also judge someone's performance more accurately because you're actually hearing their DAW audio and you are hearing it in higher quality. If you're interested in learning how to do this more thoroughly and in more detail, I can explain it in a separate video. Just let me know if you would like one in the comments. Finally, one of the last things I wanted to talk about in this video today is just the fact that Limitations, I do believe, breed creativity. There is opportunity in uncertainty. What I'm really trying to say in almost a philosophical way is that when you're presented with limitations, that actually gives you an opportunity to be creative and think about other ways that you can present the material that you're trying to present. I've heard in other contexts that when you have writer's block, when you're trying to write a song and nothing is coming out, the best thing that you can do for yourself is actually impose some limitations on your songwriting, whether that's limiting the concepts that you can write about lyrically or limiting the chords that you use. Limitations breed creativity. One thing that one of the bands that I'm involved in did during this time was we created a video marketing plan to use over social media to promote a new EP and single and music video. There was very little else that we could think of to do at all. So we said, okay, well, maybe we'll just make more videos. Pretty quickly, actually, we came up with really interesting ideas for video content that I don't think we would have come up with if we weren't presented with the limitation that was, we can't go out and play live anymore to promote our music. And not only did those limitations force us to make those videos, we actually learned about the fact that we can make videos like that in the first place. We each either became more aware of skills that we had and how we could apply them to the band and the content that we were making, or even learn new skills themselves 
that we maybe wouldn't have learned if it weren't for the restrictions imparted by the virus. Of course, it would have been a lot better if it had never happened. I am not trying to say I am happy the virus happened. But I think it's good to take situations that you can't do anything about and rather than focus on what you can't change, instead focus on what you can do about it. That may seem like duh, I know, but sometimes it's really easy to get stuck in those just hopeless mindsets. Well, I think that does it for this video. If you found it helpful, please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do, put it on loop so that it helps me out with the algorithm. And please tell me in the comments below if you feel like there are things that you've learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. It doesn't even have to be music related. And again, don't forget to let me know if you'd like to know more about what goes into my remote collaboration over Zoom with my musical buddies. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you next time.